All right, welcome back in to Acoustic Friday on the Foxy and Friends Morning Show. We are with Elizabeth Reed. Yes. All right. My goodness. What's that song called? Big River. Big River. Man, I, I cannot wait to hear the recorded version of that. <laughs> that's that's awesome. Well, uh, everybody, we are here with the uh, McGlone brothers. Uh, we got Zach and Jacob. Thank you for being with us today. You guys are a part of the group called Elizabeth Reed. And uh, I've seen you guys. Uh, you guys are playing out everywhere. Uh, which is awesome because uh, everybody's getting to experience that in a live setting, and uh, that's always good for a uh, just a music scene. Uh, so, how uh, well? How did you guys come up with the name Elizabeth Reed? 
what's that all about? Okay, well, uh, Elizabeth Reed is a throwback to the Almond Brothers band, and unless you're like a super big Almond Brothers band fan, you won't know about it. But there's a yeah. song called "In Memory of Elizabeth Reed." Oh, okay. And the whole story behind it was uh, there was a graveyard that Dickie Betts used to go write songs in, and one night he was drunk and he sat down on a grave and he looked, and the name on the grave was Elizabeth Reed. So they <laughs> one of their greatest songs that they ever composed was called "In Memory of Elizabeth Reed." Okay. And on top of that, it was the one name that I threw out that nobody completely hated. <laughs> <laughs> That's always like the worst part of like uh, like any musical outfit trying no, to like figure out. Fans, so. oh, all right, okay, yeah. well that works out. But yeah, you guys, you know, being brothers too, that's always awesome to like see a group that has like you know siblings in it because it always seems like that that sort of like uh, atmosphere is always like just really tight and like yeah. usually gels like pretty well unless you're Oasis. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I feel like um, there's something about uh, whenever we play, it's like there is definitely like a connection in the way we gel together. Yeah. And uh, like it's something where like we've been doing separate bands and projects and stuff for the last few years, you know, mm -hmm. and then uh, we got the opportunity. We just sit down. We're like, you know what? We need to do something together. And it's really it's really been awesome. And I feel like everyone else picks up on the chemistry that we have as brothers, yeah. you know. So every time we go and play and get to play new places, people enjoy it because it brings an energy. And I love playing with him. He loves playing with me. Yeah, yeah. And everything is just awesome. Right on. Well, uh, what do you guys have next for us? Okay. Um, this next song uh, we're going to do is called Free Will and Man. And uh, I guess it's a, this song goes out to all the truck drivers out there. All right. <laughs> Take it away, guys.
Fantastic. Man, well, uh, when did you guys start, like, playing music? When did you uh, discover that you, that you had uh, inherited abilit abilities to, uh, you know, pick up an instrument and kind of jam together or whatnot? Well, we both started playing, uh, started playing guitar when we were about, I think, around 14 and 15. Oh, yeah. And I think that's where a lot of our chemistry comes from because uh, back then, you know, we shared a bedroom, so he'd be sitting on his bed playing guitar and I'd yeah. be playing guitar and then... We'd be like, he would be into different bands, and I'd be into different bands, and he'd just be like, hey man, check this out. And I'd be like, yeah, oh, yeah. that's cool. And then I'd be like, hey man, check this that out. Oh, yeah, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Oh, yeah, Stevie Ray Vaughan. <laughs> 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 My gosh. Uh, yeah, I remember the first time I heard Stevie Ray Vaughan. Like, I, I'll never forget it either. Like, I don't think many people do. I think it was like, uh, I might have seen like an episode of Austin City Limits on, oh, yeah, uh, on yeah. PBS, you, you know. Yeah. That was always like a treat, wasn't it? Like every Saturday oh, night. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, like a big thing about this band I'm really excited about is this is the first time that anyone's got to hear him, you know, on a drum kit, which oh, is really yeah. awesome because I've known for years that he's like. He had some rhythm. He had some he had some drum skills, you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, he knows he some rhythm and with he his knows blues. a lot about yeah. theory and just the way it all goes together. Yeah, yeah. He went to uh, college and did a music theory uh did music theory at Morehead State University, so right like, on. like okay. he's more like the like he knows the technical side of how everything goes on, and then I'm just like, hey man, I'm just over here writing songs, <laughs> and he knows the technical <laughs> side. And when we put it, we put it together. It really just, I don't know. I think we both work together to make to hold ourselves to a certain level, and that's what makes Elizabeth Reed what it is. Yeah, it seems like it's working like really well. Uh, when did you guys uh, actually form the band? Um, about February or March. February, March, right on. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, it sounds like you guys have been playing for years, which uh, you know, apparently uh, you have since. For like, <laughs> for like the first probably month or so, it was like every day we practiced like two hours. Oh yeah. man, I bet that was awesome. <laughs> it was. Yeah, it was great. Well, uh, what's the last song that you guys have for us today? Um, okay, we're going to do one called uh, Blue Skies and Yellow Lines. It's, I think it's one of my favorite ones in the set. And okay. uh, basically, it's just a feel-good song. It's like, uh, you know, sometimes you want to go on vacation. You want to go somewhere sunny. You want to get yeah. away from this 9 to 5 or your 12-hour day, your 15-hour day. And you want to just have some fun and relax. And you want to kick back like your Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and this song is about that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Man, great stuff. Holy great smokes. Stuff. <laughs> well, uh, I see that you guys are like pretty much everywhere coming up uh, this next month into September. Uh, tonight, you're going to be down at the uh, Prestonsburg Night Market, uh, a part of that uh, shindig, and that's going to be really cool. Looks like after that, you're going to be in Hazard. Uh, you got Richmond dates, uh, West Virginia, all over the place. Yeah, um, we got one excited. We got one day yeah. that we're really excited about okay. that um, we need to post about. It's on the tenth. It's next weekend at um, a local business. It's called Mountain Muse. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah, and, uh, that's a cool place. It was just we went in there. It looked like a really cool place. We're like, you know, we really like to throw a show here. So. Like you said, Prestonsburg Night Market tonight, yeah. and then uh, you know next weekend we're going to be there at Mountain Muse, also in Prestonsburg. Mm -hmm. You know, right yeah. on. Yeah, Prestonsburg is just a, a great place for music. Uh, for Saturday, sure. Actually, there's a Brothers of the Will event in the Well. If anybody's interested in that, we will be playing there. It's a okay. charity event. All right. And where did you say that was again? In the Well. The okay. Well, Kentucky. Well. Yeah. All right. So if anybody's having a hard time hearing that, that is uh, a Brothers of the Will event that uh, Elizabeth Reed will be playing at this Saturday in Dwell, Kentucky. There's going to be signs and everything for you to get there. But, uh, man, these guys, they, uh, they haven't recorded yet. You guys said you were working on that. If you uh, go out to see them on, uh, on any of their upcoming dates, make sure to like, tip them well because all that, uh, all that money goes towards uh, the recording effort and uh, – I know myself, I definitely want to get a hold of whatever they record because that's, uh, that's some awesome stuff. But uh, how can uh, our listeners go about, you know, following you guys? And uh, You can find us on uh, Instagram and Facebook. Okay. We're not too hip on Twitter. Yeah. You know, but uh, Instagram and <laughs> Twitter Facebook, just gets you in you trouble, know? apparently. That's, yeah, uh, yeah I steer like clear. The best way to do it, you know, if you, you know, if you want to do something outside of social media, you just come out to a show and hang out with us, man. We'd love exactly. to meet yeah. anybody who's into what we're doing, you know, and yeah. wants to hang out. We'd love to hang out with you and meet you and, you know, right on. maybe buy you, buy you a drink, you know. <laughs> there you go. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, you heard it from uh, Zach. Uh, if you show up to a show, he will buy you a round of uh, <laughs> drinks. <laughs> Just don't bring, don't bring all your friends yeah. <laughs> for that part. But anyway, this has been Zach McGlone and Jacob McGlone of the band Elizabeth Reed. We are missing a member, uh, Jack Mays, today. Uh, Jake Mays. Jake Mays, But yes. uh, whenever you uh, come out tonight, if you come out tonight to the Prestonsburg Night Market or any of the full band shows, yeah. you will get to see us with our buddy Jake Mays. <laughs> In Owingsville, Kentucky, yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you guys for coming along uh, today for a visit. And, uh, of course, you're always, always welcome here. Awesome. awesome. Thanks yeah. for having us. We look forward to coming back. No thank problem. Well, uh, stay tuned, everybody. We have a lot more show left.